Hey, baby doll Tommy, when it comes to selling, I want to tell you something. I've gone, I've looked at everything. I've looked at everyone's models, everyone's strategies. Even, you know, my super trend, my super trend's awesome, isn't it? But in the first video, I told you guys about the super trend a year ago. I said, guys, uh, at the end of the cycle, the super trend is trash. And I can actually show it to you right now. So for example, let's just look at Chainlink. This is every single coin, by the way. By the time the super trend flips red, look at this, okay? It is down from the top, <laughs> 70%. But here's the thing, okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. It's not like you don't sell down here. You just sell around the 21 EMA. So you sell around 27 bucks. But look at this, bro. It, it, look, at it. it's still at $27, 217 days later. Do you have the balls to exit? Watch something be your same price seven months later and still say no deal. Look at all the bulls, bro. All the bulls were, were thinking, we're going to go up. We're going to go up. We're going to go up. No. Nah. So that's the super trend, bro. And guess what? That, that, it, that's how scary it is. You have a million bucks. It becomes 300K. You have to get out at around 500K. But look, you can't look at it as a loss like that. You got to look at it like, where did you start from? Because you, like you're meant to, meant to, none of us did. You're meant to buy a chain link at a dollar. You know what I mean? You're meant to buy a chain link all the way back here. So you're like, okay, you're getting in here. Let's actually put on log chart so we can actually see it, right? Now we can make it more, make it look like more sense. By the way, this looks the same for every coin, bro. Every coin. So when you look at it like this, it doesn't look so bad, does it? Like you're meant to get chain link here. You're meant to get it at 50 cents in a bear market, right? 50 cents and you go up and up and up and up. Oh, bull market. Uh oh, it reversed the trend. And now you're getting out here. So you're meant to get out from here to here. You see that? So whether you got out here or here doesn't really matter. Look at this difference. Not a difference much, but it does not a difference for the 50 cent guy. Okay. Yeah, of course, it's a big difference, 50% drop, but for the 50 cent dollar buyer, doesn't mean much, right? However, Look at it on a regular chart. If you look at the regular chart, okay? If you look at a regular chart, this is this is how disgusting it looks like. Imagine your long chain link from 10 bucks, from 50, it comes back to 70. You're like, dude, I waited this whole time. All I got was a 2.7X. See how dangerous it is the longer you wait in crypto? You never want to actually... See, here's the thing, man. It looks obvious in the hindsight. I'm telling you, no one's getting out, bro. Everyone's saying, wait a minute, world-changing technology, trillions of dollars printed, all these people are making money, racist coins, Soylana, Coinbase, all these other things. And you're telling me I have to walk away with a 3X? Nah, that's why no one, and no one gets out. So what's the solution? Well, I've looked at everything. There's only one thing you can do, bro. It's literally, you have to scam yourself to be sliced a thousand times, which is, do you see euphoria? I'm going to be saying, I'll be saying, hey guys, Go to every coin you have, peel 3% off. And I'll, I'm not going to target any coin. I'm not going to target any coin. You know why, bro? Because ugh, there might be a value. I want them to keep going. I don't want anyone to skits it. So I'm just going to be saying, um, you know what, bro? I might not even say it during that time. I'm just going to be telling everyone beforehand, like even now, trim 3%. So that's what you do. One day, you're not going to notice 3%. You know, you, you trim 3%, you put it into a stable coin, and it's your no-touch wallet. That's it. No touch. She's under 18, no touch, okay? So that's pretty, that's pretty much it, my mate. We call it the under 18 wallet, you know? <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. It's a good meme for us to remember. That's the only way to do it, bro. And then we might see even more euphoria later on. Like, for example, right? Think about this. Crypto banter says, we're going to launch a meme coin. And you're in Soylana coins, okay? You're like, all right, I'm paying off 3% today. Next day. Racist coins have a narrative. All right, I'm peeling off 3% today, like that. Okay, now 3% is so slow. You see how fast it goes, bro? Because the, the truth is that, uh, the truth is they only peak for like two months, bro, 60 days. So if you want to get rid of most of your portfolio around there without screwing yourself, you got to do a 3% every day. That's all you got to do. You got to peel it off. And there's some days it's, it's dropped 20% and you still got to peel it off. That's the only way to do it, bro. It's the only way to do it. Otherwise, you never, ever, ever make it. No one ever sells. No one ever sells once everybody's everybody's in. See, the, the only way you actually win, really win, is if you buy stuff you don't believe in. That's it.
If you buy stuff you don't believe in, you have you don't care if it keeps going. You know, you, you have no care, right? That's why uh, many coins, yeah, I was able to just sell them. Like for Phantom, I sold the top of Phantom from the Phantom ETH ratio because I looked at, because I'm like, you know, Phantom's great. It's it's done really well for me. I just don't believe in it because you're, there's like 15 chains like you, bro. It's just like another EVM and Andre Ruggie is a rugger, right? You know what I mean? Like it's so, so easy for me. But many people loved Andre because they kept sniping his launches and making lots of money off him. And they made a lot of money off DeFi season in 2021, in 2020. So they had like a loyalty and allegiance to him and they just loved him. He's so great. And they talk about him all the time. And I was like, nah, fuck these guys. Fuck them all. They got 400 million bucks. I don't have 400 million bucks. Screw you. You know what I mean? That's what I hate to say it, bro. I don't want to be rude. That's that's got to be our attitude for everyone else. If you don't have that strong attitude, you never end up click and sell. But if you sell too early, bro, you never forgive yourself because you know we're not getting it again ever. Then that's why you got to peel it off 3% at a time. 3% at a time. You know why, bro? That's why VCs, the insiders in there, that's why they always win because. They're starting narratives in stuff that they don't even believe in. They're starting narratives in companies and coins and games and all this shit. They don't believe in any of it, bro. All they believe in is the dollar. They got a cheap price. They know they're in early and they're shilling it out to retailers. They see everyone else as stupid. You see that? So the VCs always get the deals and they, they, they know, okay, they know if we don't believe in it, therefore anybody we tell is a sucker. So that's why they're just always dumping every unlock. That's why they, they, they don't win the most but they still get a return. That's why they're always looking for a return. I know there's a lot of things to go through, bro, but there is no perfect solution. Everyone everyone always gets skits. When do I sell? When do I sell? Like it just, yeah, there's no perfect answer, but you have to trim. That's it. You have to trim. Um, it also helps as well that that wallet going in there, it helps because I'm telling you right now in Euphoria, bro, scare stories don't work. Um, facts don't work. Topsicles don't work. Nothing works to shock anybody. The crowd is literally drunk like right now for example we could be looking at right now soylana and coinbase coins could be irrelevant in 90 days from now they could be fully irrelevant we could have moved on to something else but look how drunk and euphoria they are it's everywhere it's everywhere it's everywhere but if you and me you remember we've been in enough cycles like because you become skeptical you ossify the more you're in and then you always underestimate how dumb retail can be see the, the retail always comes in dumb but they come in somewhere new they come in in a way that you don't expect as we're seeing like meme coins so there's a lot of things to flesh out